Maurice a reçu aujourd'hui 200 000 doses de Covaxin de la Grande Péninsule. Le vaccin, qui est le premier vaccin indigène indien, a été développé par Bharat Biotech avec la collaboration de l'Indian Council of Medical Research, National Institute of Virology. Les vaccins sont arrivés ce matin à l'aéroport de Sassi Sagor Amgulam et ont été réceptionnés par le ministre des Affaires étrangères, de l'intégration régionale et du commerce international, Alain Ganou, le ministre de la Santé et du Bien-être, le docteur Kailesh Jagatpal, et le haut commissaire de l'Inde à Maurice, Nandini Singla. Le ministre Ganou a fait un appel à la population à se faire vacciner afin de se protéger de la Covid-19. Your Excellency, uh, this is uh, Sir, my colleague, uh, Minister of Health. This is the third time that Mauritius is receiving vaccines with the aim to curb the pandemic, which is unfortunately continuing to take its toll all over the world. On all these occasions, it is India which has procured us un appel à la population pour que soit pleinement de sa programme de vaccination qui nous gouvernement puis organiser. Quant au docteur Kailesh Jagatpal, il a fait ressortir que ces vaccins permettront de continuer avec la campagne de vaccination tout en soulignant que c'est la solution pour lutter contre la Covid-19. Je connais que nous déjà nous engageons dans nos campagnes de vaccination. L'année c'est les premiers 100 000 de nations qui viennent de nous et à partir de là même qu'ils commencent de mettre le vaccin et puis une deuxième cargaison aussi qui est sortie l'année qui est venue avec ces remises de tout dans le diable. Sorti, nous avons un co-vaccin, encore une fois un vaccin qui est sorti dans l'année, ça n'a là, c'est les produits eux-mêmes qui sont dans l'année et là ça peut permettre de continuer le programme de vaccination. Dans ce moment-là, vous pouvez trouver toute la qualité des difficiles pour les vaccins. Quand l'Inde qui ne récite les liens avec le vaccin, pour nous, ça veut dire que sa relation qui existait entre nous et, ben, non, et l'Inde, c'est une relation vraiment spéciale qui nous permet de nous continuer nos campagnes de vaccination et nous dire que nous avons avec l'Inde pour continuer de se produire, de continuer de soutenir nous pour faire le programme de vaccination et nous connaissons aujourd'hui que si elle a une solution pour le COVID-19, c'est la vaccination. Selon Nandini Singla, ces 200 000 doses de vaccins aideront dans la relance économique du pays. Because these vaccines have come at a time when we need them desperately in our own country. As you may have seen on the news, we are having a resurgence of COVID-19 cases in India. In fact, uh, yesterday, just in one day, we had um, almost 36,000 cases, which is the biggest number of cases this year in any single day. And um, to contain this challenge, the government of India has decided that we need to vaccinate about 300 million Indians by July, August, that is in the next three, four months, which means that in India itself, we need to vaccinate at least two million people every day. So that is the quantum of vaccines that we need in our own country. And I'm very honored very privileged, very glad that at a time like this, India has once again shown its commitment to the special, unique and time-tested relationship between India and Mauritius. Uh, I'm very happy that once again, the government of India and the people of India have been able to stand by Mauritius in their hour of need. I also want to say a few words about the vaccine that we have received. Uh, it's called Covaxin, and as I said, it's India's first indigenously manufactured vaccine. 
which has been uh, co-produced by Bharat Biotech along with the Indian Council for Medical Research and the National Virology Institute in Pune. Bharat Biotech is a pioneer in the area of vaccines. They have 16 vaccines under their belt. They have 145 uh, global uh, patents. They are the biggest supplier of vaccines to the government of India. And uh, in fact, the world's first rotavirus was produced by them. And they are well known in the developing world for bringing out vaccines which are more efficacious, more effective in poorer countries and available at more affordable prices. So to me, in a way, um, it's also a very opportune moment for India to share Indian vaccines with Mauritius because exactly one week ago, our Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji launched the India at 75 celebrations. Azadi ki Amrut Mahotsav, as we call it, because on 15th August next year, we'll be celebrating the 75th Independence Day of India, and we are celebrating it starting 75 weeks earlier, which was one week ago on the 12th of March. And I'm happy that we are marking the launch of these celebrations in Mauritius by receiving India's Atmanirbhar vaccine which is India self-reliant, made in India vaccine, and sharing it with the people of Mauritius. More than 10 million doses of the vaccine have already been distributed. And in India, more than 1.5 million people have already taken this vaccine. And the results have been excellent. So we are ramping up our production of this vaccine in India to cater to our own domestic demand as also the demand from several countries outside of India which want these vaccines. Uh, they are in uh, great demand and we need to step up the supply soon. I also want to say that every Indian understands the difficult challenge that Mauritius is going through with the resurgence of COVID cases and the lockdown. And we all hope very sincerely that these vaccines help in lifting the lockdown early, help in reopening the borders, and help in restoring normalcy to this beautiful country. That is the objective behind this very spe uh, special gesture of providing the vaccines. The government of Mauritius, under the very able leadership of uh, His Excellency, the Honorable Prime Minister, Mr. Praveen Jagnar, has taken very difficult and tough decisions in a timely manner to contain the spread of the pandemic and has commendably managed this challenge so well. So we feel privileged to stand shoulder to shoulder with the government of Mauritius in this fight against the pandemic and uh, we are happy that we are able to assist Mauritians in this hour of need. I would like to convey the best wishes of the government of India, all my countrymen, to the government of Mauritius and the people of Mauritius, and hope that we will be able to put this pandemic behind us by working together, standing side by side. Thank you.